This is one of their latest things at Harbor Freight, is this Bauer wet and dry cutting. Now, it says four and nine sixteenths max depth. It's a circular saw and a 14 inch blade. Portable concrete saw, 15 amp, 4300 RPM. It says all this stuff about brick and all that. It's a corded. The weird thing about this thing is you pull it backward. Everything says pull it backward. Okay, so I already opened this thing up. Blade sold separately. That's what you need to know. And it says, choose the best 14 inch blade for the job. Now it says that this is a concrete saw. Well, I'm not working on concrete. So here's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna cut metal with this thing. Now, you could also cut wood with this, I believe, but you have to pull it, not push, like you're used to with a circular saw. So, here's what I'm gonna try, is I have these SIPS panels. They're metal skin and foam in between. And I have to cut them, I have to cut them in half. They are four inches thick. So the four and nine sixteenths depth, that works for me. Now, I realize that there are beam saws out there. They only cost eight, 900 bucks. They're 80 bucks a day to rent. You may have seen at Memorial Day that everything was 25% off in the ad. It shows this guy, and it shows this very saw blade in the ad, 25% off. But once you get in the store, you may have found, just like I did, that everything except this blade and this saw are actually on sale. So I got this steel cutting, 66 tooth steel cutter. Now, I'm of the school, turn the old blades back around backward and cut steel and I've done a lot of cutting of metal roof with it turned backward. And I've been seeing a lot of the blades, you see them, Diablo makes one that does a phenomenal clean cut and not a lot of sparks going everywhere. So it's become a good thing. So I want to try this out and I needed to cut these SIPS panels for my 30 by 40 shop that we're putting up. I'm splitting these in half and there are the walls. You want to see this thing. Are you ready? Right out of the box. Now, there's a little heft to it. I bet this thing weighs probably 25, 30 pounds. So you're not throwing it around, but the blade, it goes backwards. It goes backwards. And you pull this thing. Everything about it says pull it. Pull it backwards, pull to cut. Hook up a hose and have a wet cut saw on concrete, but that's not what we're gonna do comes with a GFI on the plug too, which is kind of cool. But this thing is a monster. I guess you could use it for wood today. I'm gonna use it on steel. It costs around 300 bucks, not 900. Renting one of those saws would have cost the same amount of money for a couple of days. If I would have put a scratch on it or if they would have seen that I cut steel with it, they would have made me buy the $900 saw anyway. So we're gonna give this thing a whirl. Give it a test. It's got a big pull handle and then a little trigger forward. So the, the safety seems to be moving the handle forward and then the contact is the full, full grip. One of the things I wanna show you on this thing to remind you is the reason why the blade is like this is because the rotation is going this way. I have the blade mounted on there the way it says it's supposed to go, not the old fashioned turn the blade around. Cover the eyes, so definitely have the ear protection. We're gonna see first reaction right out of the box how this thing works. So it is big and it's spooky, but uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is just start it. Okay, forward. All right, so first thing you notice, there's no clutch. It's gonna still continue with this momentum. And you also saw it stagger up, graduate up. 
not this big jerking motion, which is pretty dang cool. A little bit safer that way that it's it's graduates up. Let's do it again. As the turbo is winding down on this thing, all right, now we can talk. There's two adjustments here. So there's an adjustment here, and there's adjustment here on the fence. That's good to know, but you got that adjustment, and then you got this adjustment to stop it for the depth cut. So I'm gonna start it on the back and drop down into the cut. All right, that takes a while to wind down. First impressions, a little bit of sparks, but no hesitation in the cut, but this isn't very deep or thick steel. It's just a thick panel, but I've got to cut both sides. So I had the depth only about half an inch down just to cut one side, not an issue whatsoever. Pulling is a little bit weird. So I'm maxing it out. That graduated start is a little odd, but here we go. All right, here's one thing. You can't tell where you're going. That's one thing I really don't like is you can't gauge where you're absolutely cutting and most cuts in concrete or anything, you wanna be pretty accurate. So will it cut? Yes, it'll cut. But since you have to do a pull cut, it is hard to be accurate and you can't get real close to things. Biggest drawback, you can't tell how to be accurate with it, with cutting. Will it cut the simple stuff? This is pretty easy. Does it cut deep? It does cut deep. That's what I needed it for. The fact that they lured you in with the 25% discount, they even show these two items, that's a little deceptive. It's not very accurate, seems to cut okay, but uh, the deceptive marketing, that wasn't so cool. No thumbs up on that. <laughs> 